Modern generation gaming on older systems. In this case, you know, in the grand scheme of things, the system isn't even really that old. It's got a Core 2 Duo to dual core. It's got an 8800 GT, so yeah, it's a few years old. But here we are running Far Cry 3 on medium. It's not a great experience. Frame rate's only around 20 FPS. The graphics look horrible. There's no anti-aliasing, so there's blockies all over the place. So what do you do? How do you upgrade an older system? Because you always hear about the B word, bottlenecking. Today's episode, we are going to be determining if it's worthwhile to take an older system and upgrade the graphics card, or if the CPU bottleneck is so great that you might as well just hold off and do the whole thing. Now you can see here that the settings we have to run at to get playable frame rates on an 8800 GT are quite low. There's not enough video memory to run the textures on high, and for that matter, the entire game was set to medium to low details, just, well, so that we could actually get through our playthrough. So you can see here the grass looks like pretty much nothing, and like you know, the rocks don't really have much texture to them at all, not very interesting looking. Water kind of looks decent. This is Far Cry 3. This is one of the most beautiful looking games on the market right now. So it kind of hurt us to turn it down that much and then compare it to a modern generation graphics card, but we had to do that to keep the comparison apples to apples. So we needed something we could actually run on both cards to find out how much of an improvement you'll get from the upgrade. So we did a two minute run through the same as we usually do where Slick ran the benchmarks by following the same path. We actually benched a couple other games as well and we want to show you guys how much benefit you get. I guess the early conclusion would be not enough to just sort of not bother with the CPU RAM motherboard upgrade but enough that you probably can justify buying the new card while you wait for the funds to do the other things that are coming. Now the obvious conclusion if we were just going to look at the graphs and not keep in mind any of the other stuff going on is that a 660 Ti is only about 50% faster than an 8800 GT. This is of course pure malarkey because a 660 Ti is much faster than an 8800 GT. It's like a couple times faster than an 8800 GT. But it's that B word, it's bottlenecks. So the CPU, the dual core CPU, the DDR2 RAM, although we have enough RAM, eight gigs, it's not as fast as DDR3 RAM. The general platform, is just it's slow. It's not good enough anymore. Remember, this is all running off an SSD. So storage is not the problem. However, Okay, so yeah, so we don't get the full benefit of that card, especially when we're dropping a few hundred bucks on it. However, if we're squirreling away money for an upgrade anyway, and we know that we're going to have to do CPU, RAM, motherboard at some point, is it worth it to grab the video card in the meantime? We went from 25 FPS to 40 FPS average, which means we've gone over that magical 30 FPS playable threshold, although that varies for everyone. Mine is personally a little higher than that. And we were able to turn on DirectX 11 and still achieve those significantly better results than we got running Far Cry 3 in DirectX 9 mode on the 8800 GT. Because Far Cry 3 is 9 or 11, not 10, even though the 8800 GT is a DirectX 10 card. In Dirt 3, we didn't see as much benefit. We were already able to run the game on high with four times anti-aliasing at 1080p. So this is a very, very CPU bound scenario where we only saw about a 20% improvement going from the 8800 GT to the 660 Ti. So yeah, but the game is playable in general. So can it tide you over for another few months while you save up? Perhaps. Last but not least, Crisis. This one again, very CPU bound. So we only saw again about a 30% performance improvement going from the 8800GT to the 660Ti. And at this point, the conclusion is getting fairly redundant. Will it tide you over? Yes. Are you getting full value for your $300? Absolutely not. You're going to want to pair similar generation hardware with similar generation hardware because that is the way the games are written to be taken advantage of. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.